Whoa. You all look so big out there. Oh. So this is an optical visor or uh, magnification headsets or an OptiVisor, you know, that's a brain, a uh, brain name, uh, a name, name brand. Uh, but a lot of different terms for these things, and there's a lot of different ones out there. Giving you a quick review of the one I got or what they are in general. So, um, because I'm kind of surprised by it, but uh, I have to tell you a story. First of all, I'm taking it off because I don't want to look too cool wearing this, but many, many years ago when I was a wee lad in my teens, uh, back in the 1950s, I uh, heard that, you know, back then even magnification was uh, uh, something that was talked about in painting miniatures, you know, makes you could paint better. So I went out and got one of those, you've probably seen them, the swing arm lamp magnifiers with the, with the light around it, you know, one of these, but it's a big old magnifying glass and a, uh, and a round bulb. Saved all my money, got one of those, got home, set it all up, sat down to paint, and proceeded with my very first brush stroke to smear a big glob of black paint over a nearly finished goblin model. Uh, then I cleaned off the paint, took the lamp, back down, put it in the box, threw it in the garage where it stayed till for 20 years till my mother threw it away. Uh, so yeah, I didn't like it. Uh, the big problem with magnif magnification issues is it really throws off your depth perception. You know, you think something is here, but it's actually right here, or vice versa. So your hand-eye coordination is really screwed up by wearing one of these things. And until recently, I never really gave it a second thought. Um, however, I was having issues you know, the past year or so seeing details on models and miniatures and what have you. Now, here's the thing. I have really good eyes. Uh, I don't know what my 2020 vision is. Um, it was like 2025. That's the way you say it. But I am, if I remember correctly, I am slightly nearsighted, which means I have problems seeing far. But it's like only very far. I need glasses to like in the fog at night driving around if I need to read a street sign, something like that. Uh, so it's even the optometrist last time I went, which was years ago, they said, you know, I, I, my eyes are nearly per perfect. I don't have a problem seeing up close. I'm not one of those people who has to you know, read a book like this. Uh, so it's not blurry, the detail uh, for me. The problem is it's just the detail is so fine trying to find it. So bought this. Uh, from my local hobby store. Uh, this is was only about $15. As far as optical visors go, this is the cheapest. They go all the way up to about $60 plus, and that's the uh, OptiVisor that I mentioned before. Uh, but what this allows you to do is see the, it, it's not just for bad eyes, it's not just for old people, that's the key I wanna give you. Uh, it's for seeing detail better. If you were paying attention, you may have noticed during the Horus video, the War Hamster, that uh, this was going into the frame a little bit because I really needed it to see all the gold. And after I painted the gold, I actually put these on afterwards. And I was like, oh my God, look at all the spots I missed. So these things are pretty great, actually. I've changed my tune. Uh, there's a lot of different ones of these around. Like I said, this is the cheapest model, $15. And this is more of a pair of glasses with... Um, little lens that flips up here and this one has a light on it and this one has changeable uh, different magnification glasses that it came with so there's five different ones that uh, really cheap connector here which I'm sure is going to break at some point but I just pop out one and then I put in another one if I want a different level get on there there we go of magnification a lot of the other ones are like full-blown headsets where it's like you put it on here like an army helmet and then it's got a big visor up here. Uh, some of those come with like a hood on them so it blocks all your vision off to the sides and all you can see is the area that's being magnified. Which I actually thought, initially I thought that would be better because one of the issues with this set, the magnification area is so small that uh, 
all these areas out here are not magnified. And so it's kind of like, you know, the distance where my hand is here, it's like I move it over here, it's like, oh, what's, you know, again, again, it's a depth perception issue and trying to go back and forth, I thought would be a problem. However, I actually like that this is so small because I can take a miniature here and have this magnet mag magnified, but the palettes or the water or something else where I have to take my brush and move off to uh, is not magnified. So I can actually just look out of the corner of my eye and see where the paint actually is and grab something and go back here. So I'm actually liking this one a whole lot better. So if you're interested, you know, check them out. Like I said, this one was only $15. I found it on, uh, I looked up and on Amazon, you can find the same thing. You might want to get one that's slightly bigger lenses. Like I said, there's a lot of varieties, a lot of different ones out there. Uh, the only bad thing you have to get used to, obviously, is the difference in depth perception, but also the distance you work from a model. These only work at a certain distance because it's like a, a magnifier, you have to move back and forth, but you can't move it back and forth it's stuck to your head. So you have to find the right distance that they work from, like right here. These are pretty low magnification, so I can get fairly far. Some of the stronger ones, you have to get really close. So imagine painting, I'm trying to find the sweet spot right here. This is the sweet spot right here on these. So you have to be painting at that distance. If you're someone who paints more like this, from this far away, uh, you're gonna have a problem using these. You're gonna have to really stretch your neck out. But uh, yeah, I, I've changed my tune from back when I was a teenager on these things. Again, they're not just for old people, it's for improving the amount of detail that you can see. Uh, so check them out if you'd like, and you can look like a minion just like me. There you go, magnification.